be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers just like this one. Now, today's video, I'm going to be showing you the quickest way to mix trap beats in Logic Pro 10. The quickest way to mix trap beats in Logic Pro 10. So we have this beat here. I'm going to let you hear just a little bit of the beat. And then from there, I'm going to be showing you the quickest way to mix trap beats in Logic Pro 10. Let's go. Cool. So that's the beat. Um, as you can see here, it only has about seven tracks. If you click on this, like uh, this little guy right here, this is your uh, mixer window, and what that's what we want to pull up here. So the first things first here is to understand this. Um, it's all about balancing, and also you want to keep things in mind like your frequencies. And so those are the main things that I'm going to say as far as when it comes to mixing your beats real quick is if you can get the proper levels and also the proper EQing, you really don't need to do anything else, to be honest with you, um, as far as just getting your beats mixed. So what I always do is, uh, just as far as a quick way to do this, pull everything down, and we're going to start off with the kick. You can hold down Option and click on it, and it will take it to nominal gain, and that's a good place to start. And what you want to do is go to your hook, and the reason why I say go to your hook is because it has most of the instrument sounds or pretty much all of the instrument sounds uh, that are in your beat. And you want to bring these levels up one by one. You want your kick to be the loudest and you want things to follow from there. So check this out. All right, so once you have a good uh, level on the kick, you, of course, want that to be the highest in the mix and you have your, you know, your percussion or your snare and clap. Next thing I would say is go ahead and start working on that 808. You want to tuck that 808 right under the kick, the snare and the clap. Once you do that, go ahead and start bringing in that hi-hat. The hi-hat should be right under that 808. And then from there, you want to bring in this melody. And the melody, of course, is going to be tucked in like right under. The melody is going to be tucked in right under the actual uh, drums. So you can just bring that up. Cool. So once you got your levels right, the next thing is going to be EQ. Um, really, the main thing that I would focus on is going to be the melody. And what I would do is I would just take uh, away some of the lower frequencies to make room for the 808 and the kick. So I'm just going to come on here uh, to one of my uh, melody parts here. <laughs> That's pretty much usually good. Take everything from 200 hertz and lower uh, away. Uh, sometimes you might start off at this 100 or even 50, depending on um, the actual sound. But you want to take away the lower frequencies of the melody, some of the lower frequencies. All right, cool. So once you do that, 
The next thing would do be uh, to actually pan a few of your instruments to the left or right. This could even be just, you know, just a slight bit with your uh, actual melody as well and then your hi-hats as well. So. All right, so with the proper levels and with some EQing in here, the next thing that I would do is actually go over here to the stereo out. And what you're going to want to do is put some type of a limiter on here. All right, um, I recommend using Smack Attack and just putting this clip on here. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything else. Just turn on clip. But like if you can't afford Smack Attack um, or, or you don't you don't have it yet, then you could just use what's called a uh, adaptive limiter okay it does the same deal here <laughs> turn the gain down and then you just want to turn your ceiling down um, negative uh, 0 0.1 db okay and what that's going to do is it's going to keep it from um, peak the, the, the mix from peaking on the stereo out. And y'all, that's the quickest way to mix trap beats in Logic Pro 10. Um, appreciate y'all watching. Just to let you know, I do have a full video course on my site, beatmakingbasics.com. If you want more information on mixing, you want the whole mixing process, get that course um, from my site, man. You know, that's going to be something definitely that's going to help you. I also have a course, um, just a complete beat making process in Logic Pro 10. You want to snatch that up. I got a music theory course if, you, if you're having troubles creating melodies and things like that. I'm going to teach you some simple music theory tips um, that can help you elevate your mute, your melody game um, in, in any doll, really. And then we also have our loop packs. I got a Cloudy Trap Loops pack. I also got a Blue Fire Melody pack. So that's two melody packs, plus we got a drum pack on the site. Go to the site, bemakingbases.com. Download some courses and kits won't be dissatisfied and without further ado we're going to go ahead and end the video thanks for watching make sure you're subscribed make sure you also give me a, a like button and i'll see you in the next video we're out